back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a review on the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stains. I have five of them here and I've used them for a while now, so I feel like I have like a good opinion on them. In this video, there's also going to be swatches and lip swatches of them, so you can see every color I have and how they look on my skin. I just did a full liquid lipstick collection slash like review on my channel actually, so I'll link that down below. Um, but from that, I want to do one specifically on these. So like I said, these are from Sephora Collection and they're called um, Cream Lip Stains, so they're not called liquid lipstick but they're pretty much liquid lipsticks. They look like this. The bottle is pretty small, um, but it's a good size. It's good for your purse or like your pocket. <laughs> um, you could also fit this in like a wallet, so that's really nice. It says that it comes with 0.169 fluid ounces or five milliliters of product. So the cap just twists off here and the applicator is just like a little like doe foot applicator. As for like the consistency of it, it's super like thin. So opposed to a lot of liquid lipsticks nowadays that are more like heavy and like thick, um, this is very like thin so it feels very lightweight on your lips and it doesn't feel like you're wearing a ton of product which is really nice also they have a huge selection of colors so these retail each for $18 Canadian on Sephora it says that it's a silky long-lasting lip stain that keeps lips covered with bold color from a.m. to p.m. no need to reapply or touch up throughout the day so with that I actually agree they do last all day but they don't sink into the cracks of your lips and then like dry them out or anything so they're long wearing without giving you that like super dry like gross feeling like you want to put on chapstick but you're wearing liquid lipstick so it doesn't work that way they're just so lightweight and they feel really nice on your lips it also says here that the stain comes in matte and satin finishes and a wide range of richly pigmented colors I haven't noticed the difference between matte or satin finishes maybe I just have all mattes. I'll let you know which ones I have here um, and my thoughts on them. So I have this one here which is number 38 and this is the one I'm wearing. I think this might be my favorite one. I really like it. The formula on this one's really nice and it's like gives me a clean even application. Next one I have here is number 7 which this one's super bright. I thought it would be more like of just an everyday pink but it's like a very like bam in your face pink um it's not really my go-to color but it is pretty and the formula of this one is good as well and i have this one here which was like the most popular for a while and this is number 13 um, this one is really nice, but it shows up very dark um, with my skin complexion, unfortunately. On most people, this is more like a pinky nude color. Um, on me, it doesn't work that way, <laughs> unfortunately, but um, once again, the formula of this one's really good. And then I have this one here, which is number 29, and this is like a dark forest green. This is really pretty. I like the consistency of this one, too, and surprisingly, it's not streaky considering it's a green color. This one applies really nicely. I mean, it's not an everyday color for me, but once in a while, it's fun, or if you're doing, like, some sort of specific look, it's really nice. And this one here is really bad, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, I bought this one recently when I was scrolling on the Sephora app and, like, the sale section, and it was on sale, so... I think it was like seven dollars or something like that so this one's number two and I thought it was gonna be like a nudie like um corally kind of color like like almost like a cream silly kind of color it's literally orange um you'll get you'll see in the swatches later um how bad it looks on my lips but the formula of this one is different than all the other ones this one is like extremely patchy and it doesn't apply evenly and I tried to layer it and it looked so so bad so when you see the swatches later please don't judge me <laughs> it's just the lipstick it could just be the color that could be wild in the sales section but that's okay you live and you learn it's fine but overall I do really like them and if you're new to liquid lipsticks they're so easy to apply so I would definitely try them them out. They have so many like neutral colors as well. I have more of like the extreme colors, but they have a ton of neutrals. Like right now, I just applied this one probably like 10 minutes ago and like my lips are a little bit sticky, but like nothing too bad or anything. And like a little bit comes off of my finger, but it's not like wet or anything. I have some liquid lipsticks that just like don't dry down. These ones do dry down. And it's true about the whole like not having to reapply it throughout the day like sometimes I do only if I'm eating a lot of food and I'll only have to touch up in the center here it's not like I have to reapply my whole lip ever it really just stays on all day if you haven't tried these ones out yet you really should these are some of the best liquid lipsticks that I found actually and the price point is just really good they come in a huge selection of colors I feel like there's a color for everyone oh so yeah I'm gonna swatch them all for you on my hand and on my lips and you can see what you think of them so yeah let's just get into the swatches
that was all the swatches of the liquid lipsticks. Let me know down below what you think of these lipsticks. Um, personally, I really like them. I mean, some are hits and some are obviously misses. <laughs> but I really like them overall and I think they're really pretty. Also, before I let you guys go, um, I just want to let you know about a channel that I think you guys should subscribe to. So, my friend uh, Jordan actually made a YouTube channel and her videos are really funny. She posts like story time. She's done a get ready with me. Anyway, she's like really quirky and she's really funny and I enjoy watching her videos so I thought maybe I would let you guys know and you can go subscribe to her if you might enjoy watching her videos too. Her channel name is just called Jordy Bradley but I'll link it down below as well so you can go check it out. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe down below as well if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!